Trevenant is the new hotness in PvP in Pokemon Go. It is one of the top most options in Great League PvP, and if you are into Great League PvP, the main competitive format in Pokemon Go, uh, well, you're going to want to make sure that you got one. And before you build a Trevenant in the Great League, you're going to make sure you have the right IV spread. So in this video, the PvP IV deep dive for Trevenant here, uh, I'm going to be going over Trevenant's breakpoints and most relevant IV spreads to help you get ahead in Great League PvP. Now, if you are curious about Trevenant in the Ultra League, the XL Trevenant versus Level 40 Trevenant, I already did that video. Link up above and in the description if you want to get learned up on Ultra League Trevenant. And if you do want to reference any of this information in a text-based format, I do have the Trevenant PvP IV Deep Dive article coming out on Game Press either later today or tomorrow covering both the Great League and the Ultra League PvP. Link in the description once it's finally up there. Starting out with the basics here, uh, unlike in the Ultra League, Great League Trevenant's IV spreads, the most optimal ones, are pretty rigid and there's a pretty narrow range of IV spreads that are optimal for Great League Trevenant. On top of that, almost no weather boosted spreads are optimal for Great League Trevenant because your attack or your defense IV would be too high and you'd no longer be an optimal IV Trevenant, which is pretty whack to be honest because Trevenant is presumably only an event spawn and uh, so far over this event it's been like nothing but clear weather for me. I've hunted Trevenant for probably a total of eight dedicated hours and about six of them have been clear weather. So I don't have any of the ideal or anything close to an ideal Trevenant IV spread right now for Great League PvP, which is very unfortunate. In Pokemon Go, we're already disadvantaged by our geographical location. If you don't live in a Pokemon Go heavy area, then your opportunities to get the good IV spreads for various Pokemon is much lower than it is for people that live in big cities, for example. Uh, but now, we're not only disadvantaged by our geographical location, but we're also disadvantaged by the weather. Like, how are we supposed to get around the weather, right? So Pokemon Go really needs to add some IV influencing items in the game to even the playing field for all players, because if the only time you have to play the game during the Phantump event is when it's clear weather outside, uh, then you just cannot get the most optimal Great League PvP IV spreads for Trevenant, which is just very unfortunate. So I hope this helps drum up some chatter on the issue and, uh, you know, puts it on Niantic's radar so we can get this addressed sooner rather than later because Trevenant is one of the best Pokemon in Great League PvP. And if you want a good IV Trevenant, you better hope that the weather agrees with you. So, yeah. Uh, and with that out of the way, uh, let's talk about the breakpoints. Let's get into the meat of the video here. So starting out with the attack stat here, uh, a 127.3 attack stat can give you a Shadow Claw breakpoint in the mirror matchup against Trevenants that have a defense stat that are equal to or less than the rank 1 Trevenant. And let me tell you guys, most Trevenants that you're probably going to encounter in battles are going to have that defense stat or lower. So that can be a very big deal in the mirror matchup. If you want to bring your attack stat up a little bit higher, we have the 127.8, which gives you a Shadow Claw breakpoint against Haunter. And instead of having to throw a Seed Bomb to close out that fight, you can just beat Haunter straight Shadow Claw farm down in the one shield situation. So that's a pretty nice perk there. Uh, if you want to pump it up even higher, if you go for 128.12 or higher, uh, then that can allow you to beat Mew in the 2-2 shield situation. And then depending on the Mew moveset, you could maybe even take it on in the 1 shield situation. Now when it comes to 128.12 specifically, I believe that covers like the top 96 IV spreads for Mew. There are like 216 in total, and your opponent has no control over what Mew IVs they have. So I feel like that attack stat covers most of them, but if you want to guarantee guarantee that you get the breakpoint on Mew, then you will have to pump it up to about 130. I, I will say that something just before that, uh, I don't have it written down, but it's on screen for you, uh, will cover even more Mews, but basically the higher attack is, the more potential you have for the Mew breakpoint. And then for the penultimate attack stat on Trevenant, uh, there is a rank 1 Altaria Shadow Claw breakpoint 
at about 132 point to attack, which can get you the Altaria 1-1 shield situation. Uh, a little ridiculous, uh, none of the optimal IV spreads will have that high of an attack stat, uh, but I feel like when it comes to a more attack weighted Trevenant, if you don't have the defense weights that I'm going to describe in the next portion of the video and you want to build a Trevenant right now, uh, well then building these attack weight ones could give that Trevenant, you know, a unique usage compared to a future better IV Trevenant that you build down the line. And that way, depending on what the limited meta is or what your expected meta is, sometimes you may still get some usage out of your attack weighted Trevenant. At any rate, let's talk about the defense, and uh, this is where all the action and frustration happens with Trevenant IVs. So starting out, I have the 105.89 plus plus defense stat. Uh, this is the rank 1 defense stat, and Trevenant can get higher defense than the rank 1 defense, uh, but it covers Altaria, Bastidon, and Skarmory. But the thing is, is it doesn't cover them 100% of the time. If these Pokemon have enough of an attack weight, they're going to get a breakpoint on you anyways. So if your opponent has like the rank 1 Altaria, Bastidon, Skarmory, then chances are you will get the defense breakpoint on them. Uh, but if their attack stat's a little bit more sloppy, even like a 3 or a 4 on the attack IV, uh, could knock you out of range of getting that. Having a higher defense stat can potentiate you maintaining that defense breakpoint on them, which can give you advantages in those matchups. Then the next level of defense I'm going to talk about is the uh, 104.9 plus plus defense. And uh, this is for Azumarill. Azumarill can get a bubble breakpoint on you. And with the bubble breakpoint, Azumarill can possibly take you out in the 1-1 even shield situation. And if you have enough HP, uh, by avoiding that defense breakpoint, you could get the 1-2 shield situation, which is nice. Save yourself a shield and then defeat the Azumarill. Uh, but... Azumarill could have a high enough of an attack stat where once again you can't chase that anymore with your defense stat. So <laughs> as it is with Altaria, Bastidon, and Skarmory, uh, the higher defense you have, the more potential you're going to have to be able to subdue Azumarill. But more attack weighted Azumarills are still going to be able to get the bubble breakpoint on you. So look alive. And then finally, we have the 104.6 to 105.8 defense stat range, and this encompasses both Fire Spin and Hex, Alola Marowak, uh, Golbat, and Kofagrigus. And if you can get the defense breakpoint on them, it potentiates the 1 1 shield scenario for the Awax and the Golbat. And then against Kofagrigus, it potentiates the 2 2 shield situation. Even against the attack weighted Kofagriguses, I cover in my Great League Kofagrigus PvP IV deep dive. Link up above and in the description if you want to get learned up on Kofagrigus in Great League PvP. But yeah, given how important defense is to Trevenant for these matchups, being able to have the highest defense possible on your Trevenant is kind of the name of the game when it comes to building an ideal optimized IV Trevenant for Great League PvP. And it's because of the defense pressure here that the clear weather does pose a pretty big issue for building a optimal IV Trevenant. Very unfortunate. Then finally, we have the HP stat. Uh, the most important HP stat here is going to be 129, which helps you in the mirror 2 2 shield situation, uh, assuming that your Shadow Claw breakpoint situation has uh, evened out with both you and your opponent. It can also better potentiate the Azumarill 1 1 shield situation. Once again, attack and defense between you and the Azumarill, depending. Even if you get the defense breakpoint, sometimes if the Ice Beam does too much damage, it might fall out of favor, uh, but 129 I noticed was coming up more often than not for giving you potential in that situation. And then this can also help out against some Bastiodons in the 2-2 shield situation. Once again, depending on the IVs between you and the Bastiodon and Bastiodon's HP uh, IV going on there too. So it's not going to get you the 2-2 for sure against Bastiodon. It's not going to get you the 1-1 against the Zumeril for sure either. Uh, but it very likely will get you the mirror matchup, and it potentiates those other matchups, so why not? You can also drop your HP a little bit lower. Uh, 128 is for Galar Stumpfisk consistency, so if nothing else, if you are shooting for a high defense spread, and you can't get that 129 HP, 128 at least gives you that extra consistency against Galar Stumpfisk. And then you could pump it up 
even higher on the HP stat. If you have a 131 or higher HP stat, then you have better potential 1-1 shield situation odds against Azumarill. Once again, not exactly guaranteed, but it helps. It helps. All things considered though, when it comes to ideal Trevenant IVs, the main thing you really want to focus on is that defense stat, pumping it up as high as you possibly can uh, so you can get the most amount of defense breakpoint gains. And now the time has come for the canned IV spreads. Here we have the top 10 IV spreads for Great League Trevenant. Uh, I'd say the first six are probably the best of the bunch because they do have the higher defense stat weights. The top three here also have the 129 HP, and then they also have that attack breakpoint for the Trevenant Mirror. So if there's anything to gun after, it's definitely gonna be these top three, uh, then the top six here. When it comes to the final four, the final four have that bigger HP weight while also having the rank one defense. In fact, the 0 15, 15 here, is the rank one. Um, but yeah, if you're not getting even higher defense going on for your Trevenant, then you may want to focus on that even higher HP stat. Uh, but I'd say overall, these are the top 10. Now, even with a weather bonus to get any one of these IV spreads, you're probably going to have to catch anywhere between 374 and 942 Trevenants. And that's without a clear weather happening, you know? Uh, so, I don't know if Trevenant's going to go away. The Phantoms are going to go away after the event. Uh, but if they do, then it could be very unlikely that you get one of these top 10 IV spreads. So with that in mind, I do have the next 45 best IV spreads here for you. Here we have the next best 45 IV spreads. The tables are different sizes because one has 22 and the other one has 23 different IV spreads. So if it looks kind of goofy... That's why. <laughs> At any rate, these are the next best IV spreads. And what you'll notice with the next best IV spreads is only one of them has weather boosted IVs. That's the 4157. And I'm pretty sure that's the only one you can catch with a weather boost that's like swag tips approved. It's not part of the top 10, and the top 10 definitely stand above all these other IV spreads in a pretty big way. Um, but chances are you're not going to get the top 10. So these next 45 are what I would like to side with if I had the choice, if I couldn't get the top 10. And as far as your odds are concerned, to get any one of the 55 IV spreads featured in this video, it should take about 68 to 120 non-weather boosted catches. Clear weather, not happening. Any other type of weather, it might be able to happen. So pray to the weather god, do your rain dance, and try to make something other than clear weather happen, or you will never see these IV spreads, except for maybe the 4, 15, 7. Now, given the circumstances of this being an event Pokemon and weather influencing the optimal IV spreads in such a major way, if you wind up with getting none of these IV spreads, and I've been hunting the heck out of this Pokemon, and I don't have any of these IV spreads, so... It can happen to you too. Uh, I'd probably side with one that does have one of those higher attack weights that I mentioned earlier on in the video. So if you do end up building a better IV Trevenant somewhere down the line, you can at least get some high attack utility out of the high attack IV spread. Because chances are you're going to be missing all those defense breakpoints and the HP stat isn't really going to matter all that much when your defense stat goes lower than 104.9. So... Just something to keep in mind there. So that's all I gotta say about Great League Trevenant here and its IVs and its breakpoints. I'm sorry for evangelizing on you guys about the whole, you know, clear weather IV situation with Trevenant, uh, but I've been checking my app like almost nonstop for the past few days, my few days off of work here, looking, hoping, praying for it to not be clear weather outside. And guess what weather type it's exclusively been this entire goddamn time. So yeah, something's got to give here. They need to give us some IV influencing items or something. This is going to be a fucking eSport. Play Pokemon sponsoring this. Is it really a fair competitive environment where some people live in a big city where it's not sunny outside, I guess. So during the Phantom event, they got the good IV Phantoms with the right attack and defense breakpoints to completely clown my stupid ass living in my clear weather, middle of nowhere Wisconsin. Bullshit. So hopefully they do something like that. 
Uh, if you do have any questions on this content, though, comment below, let me know what's up, and I'll be happy to help you out. And if you enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more like it, well, make sure to subscribe to Swag Tips. Swag Tips. I'd also like to give a special shout out to these Patreon supporters. If you want to support Swagman on Patreon, link in the description. And then finally, we have the 104.6 to 105.8. Then finally, we have the 104.6 to 105. Why can't I say five?